Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys, we'll be reviewing a depth stack industrial grade endoscope guys, barrel scope. This is one of the best endoscopes that we've used, we're going to demonstrate how it works, where you can get it from, specs and all that stuff, stay with us, we'll put it to the test. But before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car that we get here in the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you guys how to fix pretty much anything. Why we do that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. Now, if you need to see more about that product, the link will be in the description of the video below as well. So let's explain what we have here guys it comes with that well built case check this thing out it's really well built it feels professional it feels industrial grade case guys with the latches and everything else so you just come here open it check it out and on the inside you will receive that endoscope here okay you have the gooseneck cable which is i believe it's a 10 foot cable uh, they might be offered in different length as well uh, this is a waterproof cable it has a dual camera guys two cameras and we're not talking about one we're talking about two cameras one on the front one on the side so we can see front and side view it's a waterproof cable, 5 megapixel camera with a 5 inch HD screen right here guys. Okay, uh, now this is known as the instant start, okay, uh, instant start model. Uh, let me go ahead, connect everything together, you will see how easy it is. Uh, you just have to go ahead, okay, undo the cable here, okay and all we have to do connect it okay to the machine on the back it just takes uh, minutes guys okay practically to get everything going okay let me see it just goes one single way okay perfect and just get it tight okay just like that now uh, inside you'll find the user manual it will talk about uh, uh, what to do if you have problems you have the usb cable right here guys okay uh, you have camera holders i believe right there as well so let's go ahead okay and we're going to go ahead put it to the test all we have to do press the button it turns on automatically you don't need apps you don't need any special settings anything like that okay actually to find okay uh, uh, to make it work so first impression guys check it out it takes just a second to practically start it okay i want to see okay we have that barcode right here let's turn it a little bit the camera this way that's the barcode okay okay we can see how it's not readable let's show you now on the screen okay let's show you the camera screen now right here okay let me show you how of a great quality okay that camera is okay you can see everything with amazing detail guys okay i can come really close to the digits and you can see everything in amazing detail now if you need to switch between uh, cameras guys you have all the buttons that you can record video you can take pictures we're going to put it to the test in a little bit okay so we're going to show you now you can go to files if you have different files or you can go okay let me see now uh, okay we go back that's the menu in the menu you have the resolution that you can adjust auto power that's great feature so the battery doesn't die guys okay you can see you have the uh, sd card format language different languages as well okay let's see what languages we have here so we know what to expect quite a few languages that makes that makes it really convenient screen brightness as well now i want to see something else okay uh, let me show you now guys that's the brightness right here that you can adjust uh, how we're going to switch the cameras now so i want to show you now guys okay here you can change the angle okay but if i press down now okay that button you keep holding it it's going to switch to the other camera to the side camera right here and you will activate the light on the back side okay you have that button that if you press you have work light which is really convenient now i'm going to go back to the other view i'll go through here and i want to inspect okay the valves of this dodge engine that we're working on so give me some time okay to find the valves okay this is one valve 
okay the valve stem valve seals you can see guys everything with the great detail there I can switch to side view and I can see the wall around the valves and how dirty everything is okay that's terrible that's oil consumption that's the valve wall right here that's the valve seat and that's the carbon buildup that you see right here I can go to the front view okay and you can see all the carbon buildup on top of the valve now we're going to go ahead and go in one of the cylinders guys okay we're going to uh, remove ignition coil in a little bit but let's go ahead and see okay if we can see the timing chain on the Ford Mustang so here just through the oil cap guys I'm going to click to record now the session we can record it okay you will see now it's recording I'll go through here through the oil cap okay I'm going on the inside that's the timing chain components you can see two timing chains guys double timing chains you can inspect them you can see the condition you can see the timing chain guide you can see if it's in good order or not we can click to side view it's going to switch the cameras okay uh, to side view let me go ahead and uh, you have to go ahead and stop the recording button then you can go to side view okay and you can inspect the other components right there okay and that's the timing chain and the timing chain guide guys from the side view you can see the sprocket that's the variable timing sprocket you can inspect the teeth you can see if everything is in a great uh, condition guys so that can save you uh, guys right now checking the timing chain in order to do that you have to remove the valve cover if i do that it will take us here in the garage at least two to three hours so that machine saved me two to three hours now uh, you can go here guys okay uh, i can go to the uh, to the menu and that's the one that i did okay that i recorded check this thing out it can show you the whole session okay and what we did here and we found the timing chain so you can actually do commercial inspections you can save videos for customers for yourself and things like that which makes it super convenient so we're going to go ahead and remove the ignition code and we're going to remove the spark plug so we can inspect the cylinder wall see the uh, piston carbon builder piston rings you can inspect guys multiple things can be done uh, now here okay you can see you have the brightness right here that you can easily adjust as well okay let me focus quick on the thing itself <laughs> it's really hard here but you get the idea guys okay how you can adjust the brightness of the camera as well we're going to go ahead pull the spark plug out now okay perfect and uh, let's see what we have there now we're going through the hole inside and that's the piston with unbelievable okay we're almost in okay that's the hole right there that's the spark plug hole we were in no right there perfect that right there guys okay you can see that's the piston with unbelievable amount of carbon buildup let's go a little bit more in okay and you can see uh, now in more okay more let me see if i can switch to side view now and we can inspect the threads for the okay you can see for the spark plug guys because often that's a problem on those aluminum heads often you can have a strap uh, a stripped uh, spark plug hole and that can guys be catastrophic that can cost you uh, practically thousands of dollars in damages so you can see with a tool like that you can inspect things in no time we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from thank you for watching and see you guys next time so we're going to go in the next cylinder okay that piston should be down okay and we can okay inspect it that's the hole the spark plug hole that's the piston right there okay just like that let me switch to side view we can inspect the cylinder wall now let's go down you can see that's the cylinder wall guys okay uh, right there so we can inspect if it has scratches if we turn the camera we'll be able to see if we have some piston slap on the cylinder wall let's go down go down go down more and i don't see anywhere on the sides of the cylinder so definitely no piece oh that's the valve go down a little bit that's it right there that's the valve you can see right there you can inspect the valves let's say you had a problem with the timing chain snapping or a timing belt you can inspect if the valves contacted the piston and you can guys practically find out if you need to remove the cylinder head or not to fix valves so that thing can save you 
uh, can save you uh, guys probably five to ten hours for an old job like that so we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from thank you for watching see you guys next time